Any place you can think of, someone from Packhacker has probably been there. And along the way, we've learned a few things to help pave the way for a smoother trip. So while we can't help if your airline gets a buggy software update, we do have travel hacks to help with virtually everything else. Of course, that leads to one of our first travel tips, which is researching the airport that you're going to be landing at so you know where to go. Packing just a carry-on bag will help you get to the front of the line at customer service if your flight gets canceled, since you won't have to first get your luggage back, but knowing where the airline's help desk is at each airport on your itinerary will make you even faster. We also recommend figuring out where to grab rental cars and get ride shares because they can be hard to find at an airport even if you follow the signs. Plus, if you get there fast enough, you'll have your pick of the best vehicles. If you're not going to pack snacks and a lunch, it also pays to look at the restaurant options before you land, especially if you have dietary restrictions or preferences. You'll want to know where to grab something tasty and filling so you're not stuck picking at a few pieces of wilted iceberg lettuce. Our next travel hack might help with that too. Check if your airport has its own app. That will help you navigate to luggage carousels, transportation, dining, and restrooms from where you're standing. Before leaving home, you'll also want to research your destination. Learning the rules and customs of the place you're visiting keeps you from accidentally offending the locals or breaking laws. If you don't speak the local language, learning a few key phrases will help you if you're looking for recommendations or need some help along the way. You'll also want to read the fine print. Some places charge a premium for solo travelers staying in a double room, and that's never a fun surprise to encounter at checkout. Part of the fun of planning a trip is looking up places to eat and visit, and you can create an online map with pins marking all of the restaurants, shops, and museums you want to check out so you don't forget once you arrive. As your vacation progresses, you'll find it easier to see what's close together. Then you can plan your day and get from place to place more strategically. When I'm traveling with a group, I create a shared list on Google Maps so that everybody can add places they want to go to that list and then we have everything in one spot. When it comes to packing your gear, there are some things that you can do that will save you time and security, especially on the way home. Certain items look more suspicious going through the x-ray machine than others, so you may want to keep things like large glass candles or running metals separate from the rest of your gear so the TSA officer doesn't have to dig through your bag. You can tuck them back in your carry-on after to get them on board the plane. Staff writer Christine just did this recently. She brought home a candle from Disney Springs, but she kept it separate in its own bag when she put it through security. And sure enough, an officer pulled the candle out for a closer look. Her friend avoided that altogether by packing it into her checked luggage, which is another option if you're traveling with a larger bag. No matter what bags you bring, we recommend placing an AirTag or other smart tracker inside each to better keep an eye on your luggage if you have to check it on an overcrowded flight. You probably don't have to do that with your personal item bag as long as it fits the required dimensions for your airline, but one of our best travel hacks is tailoring the bag you tuck under the seat to your trip. If you're visiting a city, pack in a chic tote or sling that you'll want to carry every day on your trip. For a beach vacation, a beach bag or a cooler can carry your gear for the plane, saving you from figuring out how to pack it in your larger bag. The same holds if you plan to go hiking, but not quite if you're going to be backpacking for a few days. If you are, you can pick something more outdoorsy for your travel backpack instead and use a day pack with a hydration bladder on the plane. Whatever personal item bag you choose, pack any necessary medication inside so you don't have to worry about it getting left behind if your check bag doesn't make it to your destination when you do. So the big day is getting closer and it's almost time to head to the airport. Make sure to check in early to avoid being bumped from an overbooked flight and pay for your luggage as soon as possible for both the best prices and to save time in line at the airport. Even if you didn't pay for your carry-on or checked bag when you bought the ticket, it may still be cheaper to do so online during check-in than it will be the day of your flight. A travel hack to prevent you from getting called back to the security line is to keep everything that you need there, like your passport and boarding pass and ID, in one specific location. Whether that's inside a sling or an exterior pocket of your backpack, you'll want it in a place you'll remember that's within easy reach. While you could put everything in your pockets, you have to empty them when you go through the scanner, so you don't want to walk away from that screening area without all the items that you put in the bin. Take advantage of secondary compartments on your bag to hold your 311 liquid toiletries and your laptop or other large tech that may require additional screening. Then take your passport out of any holders, untie your shoes so that you're ready to go, and take off any outer layers before you get to the front of the line. A travel hack to make life easier for yourself is to wear a belt with a plastic buckle so you can keep it on through security, and we also minimize the amount of jewelry we wear on the plane for that reason. However, you're going to want to make sure you wear socks regardless of whether or not you're wearing closed-toed shoes or sandals because you don't want to be walking through that security area barefoot. That's nasty. Being prepared with all these tips will speed up the process and travelers in line will thank you for your consideration. If you're a frequent traveler, investing in TSA PreCheck or another screening service may also be worth it for the time and hassle it'll save you. You'll be able to skip basically everything we just mentioned here if you're in that line instead. Another way to speed things up is to do what you're asked and avoid unnecessary chit chat with the officers. 
Making jokes, especially off-color remarks about what you should not be carrying, will slow down the process for everyone. At best, the officer will have to acknowledge your remark, and at worst, they'll have to take you out of the line for additional inspection. We wear our bulkiest gear on the plane to stay warm when the air conditioning kicks on and to avoid making room for it in a travel backpack or rolling luggage. You'll also want to move hand lotion and antibacterial spray or wipes from your 311 bag to your personal item once you get through security so you can sanitize the area around you and your hands before eating the in-flight snacks. Plus, airplane air is super dry, so if you use lotion and chapstick, you're going to be more comfortable during your ride. And if you're worried about turbulence, think of it like a roller coaster. Picturing your favorite amusement park attraction may make you feel better than if you're just thinking about the plane being tossed around in air currents. Now that you've made it safely to your destination, what's next? We have a few travel hacks to help you right when you check in. First, if you're celebrating something special like an anniversary or a birthday, let the hotel know and ask if there are any upgrades available. The worst that can happen is that you'll be told no, but there's a good chance that there's a better suite or room grade available. The desk clerk or concierge often has discretion when giving things out like that, and if they're inspired by your celebrations, they may give it to you. Whether or not you end up with the honeymoon suite, you're going to want to check for bed bugs in your hotel or Airbnb. Places that lack carpeting are less likely to have these things, but we recommend checking no matter what. Set your luggage in the bathroom on a countertop or on a table, not an upholstered chair, and then look at the carpet under the bed and pull up the sheets on the corner of the mattress. If you see any creepy crawlies or their eggs, call the front desk and ask for a new room or just check out. After establishing that the bed bugs won't bite tonight, make sure that everything else is in working order. Turn on all the lights, flush the toilet, check for hot water, and turn on the TV. If something's out of whack, they can send a maintenance worker up right away or move you to another room. Obviously, you can call for help at any time, but it'll be easier to move before you get unpacked and settled in. If you're renting a home or an apartment, take an inventory of the space and snap a photo of anything that looks a little off. If there's a watermark on the coffee table or a dent in the wall, sending the owner a time-stamped image right away through the app will prove that you didn't cause the damage. I also like taking pictures of the room set up when I arrive in case my friends and I decide to move chairs and couches for better group seating. Then I refer to the photos during checkout so we can put everything back the way it was. Now it's time to get out and have some amazing adventures. And we have some more travel tips to help you get the most out of your trip. You'll likely feel better if you're not eating restaurant food for every meal. Instead, pack some nutritious snacks from home or even better, hit up a local market and stock up on fresh fruit and vegetables or snacks unique to that destination. You might get to try something new and different and you won't feel as weighed down at the end of your trip. If you're looking for a more authentic experience, always ask the locals. Whether that's the clerk at the market or your hotel concierge, you can often get some good ideas by asking what they do and where they go on their days off. Then you'll get a real feel for a new place instead of just the tourist hotspots. It pays to be flexible and roll with the punches too. Whether that's to fit in a visit to the hole in the wall diner that serves the best pasta puttanesca Italy has to offer, or you miss the bus to the Taj Mahal, only you can control the experience you have. If you hit unexpected snags, you can hit up social media and complain, or you can just find something different, yet probably equally fun to do. I was just visiting a friend and I missed the bus back to the airport by a literal minute. So instead of killing time there for an hour, her and I just went and got lunch and it was really nice. While taking public transportation, get familiar with the route before boarding. It isn't the bus driver's job to tell you how to reach your destination. You can look up a route on Google Maps ahead of time and track your progress on the app, and it'll even tell you when your stop is coming up so you don't miss it. And while Uber drivers or taxis should know the best way to get somewhere, you'll still want to pay attention so you know if they're intentionally running up the bill by taking you out of your way. In the end, the best tip is to manage your expectations when you're traveling with family or friends. Everyone should make a list of priorities, whether it's places to see, things to eat, or that they need eight hours of sleep each night. Even night owls and early birds should be able to find some sort of happy medium, and you can work together to plan a trip that everyone will enjoy. Another important travel tip is to invest in an anti-theft bag if you're going to be traveling to a crowded place. You want to enjoy your tour of the Coliseum, not spend the entire time worrying about pickpockets. And even if you don't want to invest in new gear, at least pack your valuables deep inside your bag. Sure, leaving them in an outside pocket makes them easier to access, but it also makes it easier for thieves too. It's also essential to research how to best stay connected while you're traveling. Whether you need to get an eSIM in another country or just rely on the all-inclusive resort's Wi-Fi, you'll want to know how you'll be able to make calls or follow maps when you're staying before you get there and realize you have no signal. So those are some of our best travel hacks for 2024. We hope that they help you enjoy your next trip and would love to hear suggestions from you. Let us know the lessons you've learned in the comments down below and we'll see you next time.